everyone. This is crispy1001 at kpcoolstuff.com. Um, this is going to be a video on how to do a clean install of the new Blender 2 FSX toolset that has been made for, flight, I mean, for FSX and P3D. So the first thing you need to do is download the beta file. And you can do that at um, fsdeveloper.com. And you go down on my name, Crispy1001, on the, um, let's see, what one is it? Um, Blender 2 I mean, Toolset Beta for FSX P3D Test Files. Uh, there we go. And click on this link and it will download the latest um, version. Once you get that, Remember where you put it. I put mine in the download area. Now you will open Blender. <clears throat> and we want to go to File and User Preferences. I want to go to Testing. I'm going to unselect my FSX um, add-on. I'm going to Save User Settings. I'm going to close. I'm going to open Blender back up again to make sure that I have all user preferences gone for it. Oh, wait a minute. Why didn't it go away? Oh, I remember because I haven't deleted it yet. Okay, so now we're going to go and we're going to navigate to where our um, add ons are um, installed on Blender. To be able to do that, you need to go to Start, Control Panel, Appearance and Personal and Preferences or Personalization, um, Show Hidden Files and Folders. You want to make sure to show hidden files and folders and drives. Um, I have Display Full Path in the title bar for the classic. Um, so turn. Well, at least turn this one on. This is the main one you're going to turn on. Show hidden files, folders, and drives. Once you do that, you can then open a new window and navigate to Users, Your Profile, App Data, Roaming, and Blender Foundation, Blender, the version of Blender that you are using, scripts, add-ons. Now, if you have any other um, add-ons there other than FSX or P3D, I would not delete them. But delete anything to do with FSX and P3D and go ahead and delete your, uh, um, PY, your PY cache and your IOC um FSX folder. So you can delete basically everything right here. Your other tool set and your other add ons you would leave. Once you delete all of those, and we'll do it right now, delete. And I will now minimize that. We'll open Blender back up to make sure that it has removed everything. As you can see, my um, tool sets um, add-ons are now gone. I will close it and open it one more time. I'm going to open File and User Preferences again. I'm going to go down to Install from File. I'm going to navigate to where I have my um, zip folder for the tool set, and it's under My Downloads. So I will go Users, Chris, and Downloads. I will click on the zip file for the toolset and install from file. I will go ahead and close the window because it has a weird um, um, tendency to only show one material or one of the um, files for the add-on. So go ahead and delete, I mean close and close Blender. 
open Blender back up. Go into go into user preferences. Go to testing. Turn on the tool set and save user settings. And just to be doing, I would close it again before you start using it. And hit open or open Blender. And now you see that we have all the new functions for the new tool set. Um, I will be making another video and it will actually go through on how, um, how to use the new functions. And there's going to be new functions added as we go. So thanks for watching. Bye.